Assalamualaikum Welcome dear viewers to my YouTube channel Dr. Aman's video Dear viewers, today I would like to introduce all of my viewers to a online resources available at the Center of Disease Control and Prevention at the website of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, dear viewer, this online resource is about the five hepatitis viruses, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, hepatitis D, and hepatitis E. Uh, dear viewer, you must be familiar that hepatitis a and hepatitis B. E. They are commonly known as infectious hepatitis viruses because they are only responsible for a, a clinical disease which is known as infectious hepatitis and usually infectious uh, hepatitis is a self-resolved disease or clinical condition after completing a, a clinical course with particular sign and symptoms. But hepatitis B and hepatitis C are more dangerous virus because they can lead to a detrimental condition known as hepatocellular carcinoma or liver cirrhosis. Uh, therefore, every laboratory on the face of the earth or every student of the laboratory sciences is very enthusiastic to know about the serology of viral hepatitis so this is an online training course freely available at the website of center for disease control and prevention so i found it worthy to share with you guys through my youtube channel uh, it is very easy to use this online course first of all you must be watching this window so what to do we were to start this learning course is very easy you need just to tape on this hepatitis mark and this will lead to another window which would be specific window of online <laughs> Hepatitis B surface, but can range from as early sensitive. HBV DNA can usually be detected in the pa So, we were there are five videos. This first video is for hepatitis A, this for hepatitis B, this for hepatitis C, this for hepatitis D, and this for hepatitis E. And uh, dear viewers, uh, it is also important to know that hepatitis B virus is not able to cause any infection without the presence of hepatitis B because hepatitis D which is commonly known as Delta hepatitis virus is dependent for certain protein for, on hepatitis B virus. Therefore, hepatitis D can survive only in the presence of hepatitis B virus on another word, you can say that hepatitis B, B virus can only infect a person which has been already infected with hepatitis B virus. So, dear viewers, it has been last updated on November 25th, 2015 by the Division of Viral Hepatitis, National Center for HIV AIDS Viral Hepatitis, SGT and TB Prevention. I hope you have you, uh, you have liked this video so i would request for the subscription of my channel dr aman's video and also try to hit the bell icon in order to get notification for my new videos uh dear viewer thank you so much uh, and i will add the this link in the first comment under this video so you can copy this link from my comment section and use this beautiful learning resources. Thank you so much for watching this video.